Hello grade 4, how are you? I hope for you to be well. Today we will start a new lesson about amphibians. Amphibians are a part of uh, or a class of vertebrates that live in water and on land. The two most common examples about amphibians are the frog and the salamander. Okay, this is the frog and this is the salamander. They are the two most common examples about amphibians. يعني هني أهم amphibians نحن نعرفون هني الفراغ والسالمندر. They are vertebrates. So they belong to the vertebrates. They are class of the vertebrates. And they live a part of their life in water first. Then they live the other part on land. Okay? And how do they breathe? They breathe by three ways. The first way, by gills. Gills, هني هدول ال ال اللي بيكونوا على طرف ال ال amphibians أو اللي بيكونوا بعضهم صغار هلا بنحكي عنهم. So when and where they breathe by gills, they breathe by gills in the water, بالماء. When they are babies, اللي بيكونوا بعضهم صغار, they breathe by what? They breathe by gills. كيف وقت اللي بيكونوا بعضهم صغار؟ هو اسمه ابنه للضفدع شو اسمه؟ اسمه تاد بول، اوكي؟ فهيدا التاد بول عنده جيلز من هون ومن هون، شو بيعملوا؟ هو بيتنفس فيهم، اوكي؟ سو ذيس تاد بول از از ايبل تو بريث باي جيلز. اولسو وين ذي ار ماتشور وقت اللي بيكبروا وقت اللي بيصيروا كبار وقادرين يعيشوا على الارض When they become mature and able to live on land, they breathe by lungs. بيصيروا مثل هون مثل الريبتايلز والبيردز والماموس. Okay. بيصيروا أدرين يتنفسوا بال ب by their lungs. So on the land, they are able to breathe by their lungs, and they are able to breathe by their skin. بالجلد تبع هون. Through the whole life of amphibians, the salamander say that he can breathe by his skin whenever his he wants. Okay, لأنه لا فيهم يتنفسوا بال بالسكين طبعاً. هني عندهم soft skin, عندهم skin كتير ناعم و و ورطب. Okay, so they are able to breathe by their skin, بالماء وبرات الماء وقت بيكونوا صغار وقت بيكونوا كبار. How do they reproduce? They reproduce like birds and reptiles by laying eggs, but their eggs are laid in the water. يعني بيضوا بالماء وبيخلوا هالبيض بالماء والبيض بفقس. And like you see, this this eggs are have a special shape. كيف مثل نقط سوداء بقلب فقاعات بيضاء أو شفاف. Uh, this tadpole or this small amphibians uh, grow up in the egg and then he uh, will be ready to go out and live in the water for the first time. This is the frog life cycle. يعني هاي life cycle دورة حياة الضفدع من وقت اللي بيكون egg من وقت اللي بيكون بيضة لوقت يكبر ويصير a mature frog. Okay. So for the first, we can tad ball. After that, we start to look at limbs. Of course, and we start to look at the small limbs. After that, the small limbs start to grow more and more, and the limbs grow more. And the last thing, the limbs grow more and more, and 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 the limbs grow more and more, They are cold-blooded animals. يعني هني عندهن دم بارد. They are cold-blooded animals. They have varied body temperature. يعني هني the frogs and salamanders do not have a constant body temperature, so they are cold-blooded animals. Okay. في كتير أشكال وألوان من the frogs. بس ال the frogs اللي بيكونوا ملونين هيك بألوان كتير حلوة بيكونوا toxic. يعني بيكونوا uh, بسممو. Okay. And also there are a lot of types and shapes of salamanders like this, this and this. But there is one type of salamander 
that lives in water for all its life يلي هو هيد السلمندر و, و and he, he breathes by his gills uh, and his skin uh, طول حياته okay لأنه هو طول حياته بضل عايش بالماء only only this type of salamander thank you great for for your attention I hope for you to be fine